But football, what position do you play? I'm a defender. Wow. So when we say defender, who will you liken yourself to? Ramos. <laughs> I got it one day. <laughs> Ramos. Yes. Hey. I like to kill people when I'm on the pitch. Hey. <laughs> Were you really disappointed after the semi-final? Oh yeah, very, very, very disappointed. It was sad. You both had seven in the semi-final. Actually, it was eight. <laughs> okay, plus one. Yeah. What really happened in the semi-final? Did you black out? It was total hell. The thing is, both of us went off and then I couldn't understand what was going on. I was the first to go off. What victory do you think will always be with you that you always remember? The quarterfinals. That was so far the best contest that I enjoyed the most. The gap, the everything. It was so fascinating. You gave me a gap? Yeah. <laughs> I am a single chain polypeptide hormone. In birds, fishes, and other non mammalian vertebrates, I am secreted by cells of the glandular ultimobranchial bodies. My overall effect is to lower the concentration of calcium. <laughs> yes, Lord. Calcitonin. Calcitonin. Yes. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another exciting episode of our interviews with your favorite National Science and Mass Quiz stars. And thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing and sharing as well. My name is Kingsley and today as you can see I have here with me one of the NSMQ top stars from Kumasi High with the name Lord. Lord you are welcome. <laughs> How has life been after the NSMQ? Oh, so far, so good. Life has been so great. With these benefits, right? Yes, please. So what are some of the benefits you are enjoying as uh, participating in the NSMQ? The benefit is that um, a lot of people show you the maximum respect when they see you. Wow. And then you meet a lot of people. Yes. So meeting a lot of people, I think you've been meeting prominent people. And people have been, I mean, gifting you things. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Are they in kind or in cash? Both. So we can come for some of the cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. And also, are the ladies coming into your DMs? I'm sorry. I can't talk about that here. Oh, viewers. He said he can't talk about that. But I'm sure there are some of the ladies creeping into his DMs. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay, okay. That was just, uh, by the way, by the way. So, uh, in a nutshell, who is uh, Lord, your full name and anything about you? Okay, my full name is Lord Amujisi, and I'm someone who loves to put God first in everything that I do. Whatever step that I take, I try to put God first, and I also consider my family first in everything that I do. Yes. So in everything, God first? Yes, please. So tell us a bit about your family, your GSS, and where you come from. Okay, I come from Bishop Bosomche. Um, actually, I come from Syria. It's in the Bosomche district. I come from a family of six, my mom, my dad, and then I'm the third born child. Okay. And then I started school at Mara Smith International School way back in 2007, where I stopped when I was in JHS2. And then my final year, I I, the school I completed was Roman Catholic JHS at Atubia C. Okay. Yes, in the Bosom Street. Yes. Yeah. So what are the names of your parents and what are their professions? My father's name is Daniel Amo. And then he's in the TV service right now. My mother is also a trader. Her name is Emilia Amo. Okay, okay. So I think your, then your dad is in, like, as in the teaching field. He was, but he's no more teaching. Okay. He's, he's now the deputy regional coordinator for TV services in Ashanti region. Oh, okay, okay. So describe how your home looks like in terms of a typical African home. In terms of a typical African home. Okay. My, my home is very, very, very peaceful. Yes, and I really love that. I think it's one of the most peaceful families that you can ever get. And I thank God for putting me into this family. Wow, my mom, wow, my dad, wow. everyone. Your parents must be proud of you, I tell you. Yeah, they are. They are very, very <laughs> proud of me. Okay, so now what are your future dreams, Lord? And what is your current university as of now? Right now, I'm in the School of Medicine and Dentistry at KMUST. University. Okay. And then my dream is not just to become a doctor but to specialize to become a urologist and then 
I want my success to have influence in other people's lives so that they can also achieve what I did. Okay, so neurology, uh, the science of the brain. Hey! Pardon? Urology. 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 So what's the science of urology, if you can enlighten us? It's about the reproductive organs, oh, okay. the prostate, the everything. Oh. Then the guys who will be suffering from prostate, I think Lord will be finding cure for us. Yeah. <laughs> so how was your how was your senior high school life like your your science class and also the house you were in? My life in senior high school was very, very, very fascinating. Wow. In all my life, the the three years that I spent in SHS was the best. And then I was in house seven it's a new house so they've not yet named it okay. it was a house for the quiz guys but before that i was a deep student where i got into the boarding house when i go to shs2 okay. i mean science seven i was in science seven okay i was in science seven okay sure so how many science classes did you have we had 12 science classes during my time but now i'm sure there will be more okay is your school considered a science class or a business school it's actually a business school because I, I was reading something. I saw that you people are even the maiden champions for a USA uh, business competition or so. Yes, yes, yes. And also, were you part in any uh, extracurricular activity? I don't know whether the NSMQ restricted you, but were you in part of any uh, groups on campus in terms of maybe sports and all those things? Oh, no, the NSMQ restricted us a lot. Okay. Yes, the restrictions were very, very high because we needed to prepare very 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 well because of what had happened in the previous years where we had suffered a lot full focus. yes full focus okay okay so this one is just uh, on the fun part this is a very tricky question we always ask our nsmq contestant that come on our channel and we want to ask you that did you spot any lady throughout the competition and if yes what school did she represent no not really i didn't i didn't spot anyone because you see when you ask everyone they'll just tell you that during that time everyone was busy yeah we were so busy that <laughs> we, we couldn't even get the time to to spot them wow yeah so what's up what up after the competition after the competition well some one or two uh-huh uh-huh but they they went as nsmq contestants oh, okay. yeah okay. So this one there is backstage. That one is between me and Lord. Viewers, that's not part of our discussion. How is senior high school life different from life on the university campus? Are you having challenges? Yeah, I'll, I have I have challenges, but you see, you should be prepared. You should be prepared to meet every challenge that you face in life. Okay. But I also went to a boys' school, so life here you, you can guess yes, yes. it should be definitely it should definitely be different my shs and shs too there wasn't that much freedom as it is in the university okay. in the university you have a lot of freedom mm -hmm. but in the shs we were restricted a lot but talking about freedom do you think there's freedom in lectures and studying no for that one there, there are no there, there is no there's no freedom yes yeah. yes for that one so Please, if you if you are an SHS student and you think when you come to university is your 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 freedom is assured, your freedom is assured. But you now when you come, you you will suck your mind because if you lay low, you will be carrying a uh, pass to the house. <laughs> okay, so what hall are you in? The best hall in the school, Katanga, University Hall. <laughs> I hear now it's mixed. Yeah, now it's mixed. So how is the hall like? The Everything about the hall. I love everything about the hall. The environment, their basketball courts. That's that's the thing that I love most about the hall. Ah, so do you play basketball? Yeah, but I'm not a good player. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so forcing. Okay, so do you, do you have two favorite basketball players, you know? My favorite basketball players, okay, of all time, I, I will go with Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. Okay. So what's up, Steph Curry? Will you... Mm, not really okay <laughs> okay so your uh, medicine program you are reading in fact the question is how is uh, the medicine program routine like is it that stressful it is very stressful but we knew everything about it when we were, we were pursuing this program yeah it's very stressful 
you won't get that much time to do the things that everyone can do. But at least, but at least you go for a uh, hobby. Yes, we go. We go for a week. Has it always been your childhood dream to be a doctor? As you are pursuing medicine on KNUC campus? Yeah, it has been a childhood dream. I had that dream when I was around six, seven years of age that I wanted to be a doctor. No matter the odds I face, I wanted to be a doctor in the future. <laughs> so you actually have an attire with you being in a, a doctor's coat, lab coat? Yes, I remember it was Careers Day 2015. I still have that picture there. I was in this lab coat, everything. Yeah. So viewers, I know a lot of you have dreamt to be doctors, but now you are in another profession. It's because of hard work. His hard work has paid off. Yeah. <laughs> and also you were saying that you were in, you participated in a lot of quizzes during your childhood. Tell us about that. The one that I can remember was a quiz that we did between, it was like between six schools or something. That was some a few some years ago. I don't actually remember the schools, but we won. And I was in JHS 1 at that time. I did with someone in JHS 3. So the, being a quiz boy has, already, has always been in his blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. What are some of the memorable moments? Let, let's streamline it to just one or two. Memorable moments during your life in Kumasi High quiz that you think you never forget, whether good or bad, a memorable moment you remember? It's actually both. It's very, it's good and it's also bad. Let us know. Okay. The day in my life that I'll never forget during my time in my SHS was the day that we did the finals of the regional championship. Okay. When, though we, we couldn't win, we were runners up. But when I got to the school, the way the school welcomed me, like everything was so intriguing. Wow. When, I, when I got to my class, they gave me a standing ovation. <laughs> and I will never forget that yes. day because, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what of the bad side? The bad side mm -hmm. that I will never forget is a punishment that our senior house master gave me. It was it was something that I will never forget in my life. He told me to pick the whole school, every seed <laughs> that I see, every seed, every seed. It was it was so sad. <laughs> every seed. Every seed under the tree that I see. This one that you can't finish. I, I shouldn't even ask you whether you... <laughs> so, uh, what made you stop? Uh, or he called you back? Yeah, he called me back. Yeah, because it's one day. Because it, it wasn't possible. Yes. I tried my best, but I couldn't get... I couldn't even cover 200 meters. Okay, so now... Uh, have you always wanted to be in the National Science and Mass Quiz since childhood? Or at what stage did you really did it dawn on you that you really want to participate in the National Science and Mass Quiz? It's like I told you, I was a D student at first mm -hmm. and I wanted to come into the boarding house, but the only means that was available at that time was joining the quiz team. Okay. So that was that was the time that I got the idea of joining the quiz team. I just wanted to become the border. I just want, wanted to come to the border now. And then when I got into the quiz team, that was the time that I really developed passion for the thing. Okay. Yes. How is selection of NSMQ students in Kuhis? How is it done? Oh, first, we, we write a general test. That one, everyone can come and write. I remember my time, we were like 176 or so. A general test. And then after the general test, they prune us we write a second test, they prune us until they get 20 or so. And then after that 20, we do a series of contests to select the best thing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so being an NSMQ team, what were some of the restrictions? Was no holidays? I mean, be, what were some of the restrictions for an NSMQ team in terms of how they shaping, how, 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 how they shaping you guys to be able to be, I mean, sharp like that? We couldn't enjoy the vacations as we wanted to. If you are going for a two months vacation, we would just go for a week and then we come back. And then doing the Milo games, the interco, everything, we, they restricted us so we couldn't go. We were just in school studying, studying, studying. So now let's talk about the regional championship, the Ashanti regional championships. You guys went into the final. 
superb. What was the anticipation like in your camp the night before the finale? The night before, um, aside the preparations that we were making, we were also very excited okay. because that was the best performance that we had had in the regional championship, okay. yeah. being in the finals. Yeah. And then at that time, my school hadn't won any academic trophy in its history, so we just wanted to make history. So it was very, very amazing. Everything, the preparation was just fantastic. Okay. And then now into the finals. You guys fought, but what happened to you? What really happened? I think the problem was with the speed race, okay. the second round. The that was where it was picked like 15 Master points compared to the four points that we picked. That, that, really, <laughs> that really made the difference. Then we lost. It was actually the saddest day of my life. You will be sad. Yeah. Yes. I was just this close. But your story can be the, like the story of Man City. Yes. Just like Man City, they lost the to final Chelsea. in 2021 and now they won again. So do you think this year, 2023, can be your year? Yes, it's our year. <laughs> and have you been able to see your contestants for NSMQ 2023? Oh, yeah. I used to go there during the vacation, but now, you see, I don't get a lot of time. So, mm. But at first, I used to go. So how good are they? On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate them? For now... I'll give them eight and a half. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay. Then there's something cooking in. Cookies. Yeah. <laughs> give us four NSMQ greatest of all time. Pay your opinion. Four NSMQ goods. Pay your opinion. Okay. At the top, there are two people at the top that I can't separate. They are the greatest of all time. So at the top, I have. Um, Eden and Evans, those two. I don't want to. I don't like separating them. <laughs> those two are my greatest of all time. And then on the third is Afu Joseph, 2019. Oh, yes, Saint Augustine's. I really love that guy. His biology, everything, was just fantastic. And Debra, and Debra, 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 2021 for Presek. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. That's cool. You know Joseph is in Caltech. Yes. He's in the same school with Eden. For yes, yes, yes. Eden is there. Let's talk about the nationals. The nationals you guys proved everyone wrong i'm part of the people part. yes i didn't expect you guys to get to the semi-finals with with all humility and with all honesty but you guys go to the semi-finals proving everyone wrong what what special thing did you people bring to nsmq 2022 that really separated you people from your previous years okay i think hard work is number one mm -hmm. We never rested. It's like Katanga, rest not. <laughs> we never did Katanga. rest. We, we always worked hard. And also, one thing that we should never put aside is that God was first in everything. Okay. Yes, everything, yes. God was first. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So, uh, were you really disappointed after the semi final? Oh, yeah, very, very, very disappointed. It was sad. You both had seven in the semi final. Actually, it was eight. <laughs> okay, plus one. Yeah. What really happened in the semi final? Did you black out, or was the pressure that that huge? It wasn't about the pressure. It was total hell. The thing is, both of us went off, and then I couldn't understand what was going on. I was the first to go off. Okay. I went off after the first round, and then my partner was still okay. But after the second round, the third round, I asked him, and then he was also off. So that was where the problem is. Both of us being off at the third round of the stage. You see, you can imagine what happened next. Yeah, both of us went off. But was it that the questions were that tough? The questions were tough. The questions were tough, but I'm not sure there are questions that we wouldn't be able to solve in a good day. But because we went off, we, we couldn't even think that will or could it also be that the time you saw that Presec was picking up the points in round one the, the 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 thought of you even seeing that someone is ahead of you really brought them around down at the first after the first round we were okay but after the second round that was where the problem Started. came yes was after the second round it was that was where both of us went off okay. yeah. this is just one of the them things all the same, you guys are still stars for us. And we appreciate everything you guys did on stage. We really appreciate it because 
if you call me to come on that stage, it's not easy. <laughs> 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 my TV score zero. <laughs> yeah. So yes, hey, you both have really done well. You both have really done well. So there is more room for improvement, and we hope this year your your school will also find uh, the mistakes you put it and work on it, so that this year will be a success for Kuhis, right? Yes. Talking about the nationals, what victory do you think will always be with you that you always remember? At least we've, we've spoken about the Barca. Let's talk about the good side. The quarterfinals. That was so far the best contest that I enjoyed the most. The gap, everything. It was so fascinating. You gave me a gap? Yeah. <laughs> so what was the feeling like on stage when you saw that? Because it was held in Kumasi. And so a lot of Kuwis people will be around. What was the feeling like? I even wanted everyone in the school to come there because of the, the way we were winning. I even wanted it. You see, me, when I'm doing something and then a lot of people are supporting me, it really keeps me on. You see the morale. Yes, it gives me the morale. So I just wanted a lot of people to come there to see that this is what is happening. Your school, you should be, you should be very, very happy about that. That's good. That's good. So now let's talk about your relationship with your co partner. How, how, how did you work well with uh, Ebenezer? Okay, aside being my partner, he was also a friend. And then we had worked together for a long period of time. So we knew each other. We knew how to cooperate, how to get composed, everything on stage. He was the one that I was able to work best with. Yes, we understood each other because we had worked for a long period of time. That's cool. So what are some of the memorable moments you remember during your partnership? The good and the bad, preparing for National Science and Masters. What are some of the memorable moments you remember? Okay, one memorable moment that I remember with uh, during the time I had with Eben in SHS, it was actually a trial. We went for a trial and then three, we had 27 points in the second round or something. Okay. Okay. And then we didn't, in that 27 points that we had, it was like we didn't know what was going on. The question will come, Eben will take it. And then it's like he doesn't know how he got the thing, but he got the thing and then he got it right. The question will come, I'll take mine. I don't know how I got it. For consecutively for like nine questions, you had everything correct. You don't mean it. That's I mean it. Wow. Yeah. That was some kind weird thing. It is it was weird. It was weird. <laughs> I, that's that's the day that I will never forget being with him. Wow. Yeah. Wow. People had that telepathy. Yeah. And it's really weird. It, I would say it's magic. Yeah, it's magic. But that, <laughs> that, at that time, it was magic. One personality you look up to and why? My father. My father suffered a lot in his youth, okay. during his youth. But of all those odds that he faced, he made it in life. So his story is the one inspires. true story that inspires me a lot. Yes, and then it has helped me a lot. And then... I'll still stay with it. I'll still abide by what he tells me. Yeah. Yeah. What big lessons have you learned from the National Science and Maths Quiz? The, the biggest lesson that I have learned is that we should never give up in life. Because if you don't give up, you'll be able to achieve a lot. And then we should also not be afraid. Sometimes fear can prevent you from doing a lot of things. Yeah. Because we all know that in NSMQ, when you go and you don't perform, they will throw you. Yeah. And then when you when you perform, they will praise you. Of course, it's fifty yeah. fifty. Yes. But you should you shouldn't be afraid. You sh you shouldn't fear, because if you fear, you wouldn't be able to make it. That's good. That's good. So to any NSMQ contestant who is preparing for the regional championships and also for the nationals, what advice will you give to that person? And also any any of the and also people really watch your interviews and it inspires a lot of senior high school students what will you say to anyone who is aspiring to you know participate in such a uh, glamorous competition like i said they all should put god first and everything that they do and if aside putting god first they all should work very 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 hard, hard. everyone is working to win just one it's one competition yeah. one winner a lot of schools so it's not an easy thing. As I put in God's face, you all have to work very, very, very hard. Do you have teachers in Kuhis that really influenced and really shaped your life that you like to acknowledge? Yes. Um, Kofi Kwarteng is one of the biggest influences in my life. Yeah. What, what, what course does he, he teach? He teaches biology. Okay. Yes. And he's the head of the science department in the school. 
he was the one who actually brought me into the boarding house. Yes, he was he was the coordinator at that time, and then he brought me into the boarding house, and then through that, my life changed in the SHS, and now I'll, I'll be forever grateful to that. Any other thing? And I also, um, Mr. Kuza, Kuza Daniel, the old students of the school, Budukuma Emmanuel, Seche, Michael, those, these ones are past contestants, but Mr. Kuza is a coordinator in the school, and then Mr. Pilog. The kind of unflinching efforts that they put into the thing, the competition, mm. was something that I'll always be grateful for. They really loved us. I wanted to give shout outs to your old friends from your senior high school and also your new friends from KNUST Medical School. Okay, to my old friends, shout outs to Kelvin Saki, my best friend from the SHS, and he's still my best friend right now. And still on take up. Yes, he's wow. my best friend. And then shout outs to my new friends over here, Kelvin Anderson, aka Tukuni, <laughs> and my roommates, Maki Raham, okay. um, Sylvester Elom. And then Pearl, Pearl, Pearl Anantete. She she was also a quiz girl at Yas. Pearl, look me in the eye. Zoom, zoom right here. Shout out. Shout out, <laughs> Okay, that's nice. So now we've gotten to the fun parts of our interview, and this is known as the trivia question segment. With this, we ask our NSMQ stars things they do outside the NSMQ. The first question is, what is your favorite football team? Barca. Barcelona. Yes. So, what three players can you mention from Barcelona? Oh, I can mention the youth team, the first eleven of the youth team. I can mention everything about the team. <laughs> yeah, I'm a true cooler. <laughs> and then the, the the three players that are my favorite in the team: Pedri Gonzalez, Gavi, and Macandé Testegen. But you know your team is going bankrupt. I don't believe in those those things. They are fake. That they've sold their stadium to. A music company, Spotify. For that one, I'm not sure of that one. <laughs> but I'm not sure. I hope they all tend to be false. My people were trying to sign Messi. My people didn't have money. What's when, why, why were you making those false news? Mm, that one is... We we do see we see it's different from those <laughs> those there. Yeah. Okay, that was just by the way. Messi, Ronaldo, who is your greatest of all time? There is no argument about this. It's simply messy. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey Ronaldo stars will be crying in the comment section. But anyway, why do you think Messi is a good? Statistically, his numbers are better than Ronaldo's numbers. And then watching him play too is a different thing altogether. Watching him play. Messi is just so good that you can't compare anyone to. We wanted a last dance between him and Ronaldo in Saudi Arabia. He ran away to Inter Miami. He didn't run away. He didn't run away from... Okay, his his career has not actually ended. Maybe they might meet somewhere one, one day. Okay, let's yeah. hope so. Yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite meal? My favorite meal, it's a local one. Uh, rice rice, bowl. rice bowl and um, granite soup with chicken wings. Chicken wings? Pizza man? No, <laughs> no pizza man. <laughs> Pizza man jollof and chicken wings. Okay, so rice balls with granola soup, with chicken wings. Okay, so uh, what are your hobbies? I like playing chess, and wow. I also like football a lot. Is chess that difficult? Yeah, chess is very very difficult, and it's something that takes a lot of thinking. Yes. Well, it's me when I see those kings and queens and things, me I don't understand anything. Yeah. But football, what position do you play? I'm a defender. Wow. So, when we say defender, who will you liken yourself to? Ramos. <laughs> I'm going to one day. Yes. <laughs> Lord, I'm going to one day. Ramos. Yes. Hey. I like to kill people when I'm on the pitch. Hey. <laughs> okay, the last question. Artificial intelligence and human human for productivity. What will you go for? Hmm, difficult question. I'll go for human. The human why will you go for human productivity? Well, artificial intelligence was actually created by human. Bass. Bass. <laughs> this is actually a bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, the reality on the ground is that AI is advancing. Yes, yes. Have you heard of the Apple Vision Pro? Yes, I have, I've heard of it. Yeah. It's a 3D element. So 
technology there is advanced in charge GPT. Yes. Use charge GPT. Sometimes. The lectures will catch you. <laughs> in... <laughs> okay, so uh, in all, in all, in all, in all, as we draw the curtains down, what would you say has contributed to the success of Lord? Hard work and God. Yes. In summary. That's yes, what. because if you don't work hard, God won't help you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so do you have any question for me? No. Do you have any question for me? Not even one. No. Wait. No, no, no question. <laughs> no question. <laughs> okay, so what is it, viewers? We've come to the end of this wonderful episode. I really enjoyed myself, and I know you also enjoyed this interview as well. Let me know in the comment section what you really liked about Lord, and I'll be replying you in the comment section. If you've not subscribed, kindly hit the subscribe button, the like button, and also share to your friends. And also stay tuned for more videos such as this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Peace out. Let's give you a peace out. Bye bye. Edi kudo, o medusa, o medusa. I live your longi na kwangu a makoko, o makoko. Na yo mi judo, bonanta kufu. Kuiso kwa unavyo ni party.